Nest Shapes automatically fits large numbers of parts on sheets and even fills unused spaces and holes to optimize material utilization. Select the paths you want to nest first, then choose Nest Shapes. The selected paths will be arranged according to the settings you use. Parts are automatically positioned clear of any unselected paths already present in the drawing. This allows you to nest parts incrementally rather than having to nest all the parts at once. If you don't have a saved drawing for a remnant or odd shaped piece of material, simply load the material into the machine and trace out the shape you want to use. Set the material size according to the physical size of sheets you want to nest parts to. If the material is longer than the machine, parts can be set to stay within sections or to cut in separate sections through indexing. Nest shapes will place parts on as many sheets as are needed to fit all the parts. After the first sheet is nested, the edge of the second sheet appears at the start of the next available full cut area. You can save different sheets as separate files by erasing, moving, and saving. You can also nest parts onto multiple remnant sheets by importing additional sheets and positioning them before you nest. Click a direction arrow to set the fill direction for nesting. Nest Shapes starts placing parts at the indicated edge or corner of the sheet and continues placing more parts adjacent to them, moving in a sweeping motion as indicated by the highlighted arrow. Nesting along the length of the sheet normally works well, from the origin to the other end of the sheet. Sometimes parts or sets of parts can be manually nested in different locations and in different directions to achieve better fits. You can even group multiple parts together so they will be nested as a set. The nest window lists each selected path or group as a distinct part to be nested. Selected groups appear highlighted in the list, and they also appear selected in the drawing at the same time. Set the part group options for each group as desired. You can select multiple groups from the list to change all their options at once. Set the desired minimum quantity and maximum quantity of parts you want made. These are normally set to the same number but you can set the maximum quantity higher than the minimum quantity to request a variable number of parts. The program will nest the minimum number of parts and then fit as many additional parts as it can in the existing sheet, up to the maximum number. This helps you make the most out of your material by filling unused spaces in sheets to be cut without using additional sheets. Set the desired minimum scale and maximum scale of parts you want made. These are normally set to the same number, but you can set the maximum scale higher than the minimum scale to request variable sizes of parts. This also helps you make the most out of your material by filling unused spaces and can be used in conjunction with variable quantities. For example, this layout was created by nesting parts needed and then filling the additional spaces with two variable size and quantity parts. Set the cut path options according to how you want cut paths processed during nesting. The length of the lead-in is automatically shortened to center the pierce point in the available space when the space is too small to fit the full lead-in length. Check Cut in Separate Sections to automatically split parts up for indexing when they cross boundaries between cut areas of the machine. Check Convert Bend Lines to automatically convert bend lines that may be present in parts nested. Nest Shapes orders parts to be cut in a sweeping motion along the length of each sheet, from the origin to the other end of the sheet. This minimizes back and forth movements during cutting and keeps the rapid travel distance between cuts fairly small. All the parts within the first cutting area or sheet will be cut first, followed by the parts within successive cutting areas or sheets. Parts nested inside the hole of another part are ordered to be cut immediately before the bounding part. 